Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Howler for an Hour. Today we're checking out uh, ST Hell, or St Hell, if you want to say it that way. This is a very simple game. Uh, from what I saw, it is basically an arena shooter where we take down robots. It's not terribly complicated, and it's not even necessarily a genre I really explore very often, but it looked pretty slick. Uh, performance seems a little rough right off the bat, I had to do some setting changes, which kind of makes sense considering this seems to be an indie project made in Unreal Engine. So it probably is not the best optimized, but it does look neat. So let's check it out. Of course, before we begin, if you like the video, do think about giving a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, come over to Twitch. We're trying to reach partner over here, but we always need more viewers to do it. So if you want to come by, whether it's to lurk or to talk, think about doing so because it really does make a big difference. And it's honestly nice to talk to more people. Um, also, we have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. And I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content. All links are in the description, so check them out if you feel like it. Uh, but let's, let's see what this is all about. So there's also an upgrade system, but yeah, it doesn't look very complex. It looks like the developer knew exactly what they wanted to make and then they made it. Uh, their performance, the performance may vary. I don't know. We'll see. Let's just hop in and see how it... Oh, well, yeah, okay. <laughs> you know, I had a feeling that the performance was related to the title screen. And that when I got into the actual game, it would run better. I was correct. Man, look how grungy our hand is. Well, okay, part of it's behind my boot for Snoop, but it's that's one grungy. Look at this. Look, at, look how grungy our hand is. Wash your fucking hand. I know it's the apocalypse, probably, but wash your hands. Okay. Um, okay. Immediately interested. So we're in sector two. Is this running good? This seems to be running good. I have the settings turned down a bit, but I actually kind of like how it looks right now. So I think it's fine. I know it actually has kind of a pixel effect to everything, though. Like, look at the side of the keyboard. Like, that was that way before I turned down the settings, so that's kind of an interesting... I like that visual style, actually. Oh. Oh, <laughs> the computer tells me how to do things. Uh, last to move, left... No, shoot. Right mouse aim down sight. Shift, dash. X ability and space jump. Okay. Whoa. What is my ability? I don't know. That's my dash, though. And it recharges in the corner. Okay. Alright, let's, uh... Let's go to... Radiation Industries. Or... Ear rat. What's that first letter? Kiraton? Kiratron? Kiratron Industries? Alright, we're outside. Hello. Well, you know, my mouse sensitivity is super high. That's okay, though. Is it still running okay? Hello. Oh, shit. Oh my god, they got cool, like, look at their, look, look at their little swings they're doing. Like, woo! Alright. Alright, get right into it. If it's too loud, now that we're actually shooting things, let me know. Oh, the money disappears after a while. Okay. I like money. These robots. I love how they rigged all. Whoa, what was that thing? Those things want to... Oh, wow. I don't like those. Hard to tell when they're dead. Oh. <laughs> well, look, that guy ran over. They run up to you fast, but then take a second to shoot, which is fair enough. You know, I seem to be out of ammo. That's a bomb. Well, that's actually useful, because I have no ammo. Blow up those enemies for me. Thank you. Oh, there's a walker. <laughs> Yeah, the thing that caught my attention with this arena shooter is I looked at all the robots and I was like, these are- Oh my god. I was kind of like, these robot designs are kind of fun, actually. Oh god. At least I'm still getting money. I, I really need some ammo. Is that ammo? That is ammo. Okay, okay that robot is shooting an awful lot of bullets. Stop that. have concern. Ah. Uh. <laughs> the Gates of St Hell achievement unlocked. Alright, how, how'd you guys feel about the oh my god, the screen. <laughs> Wait, can I still get money while I'm dead? Because robots are blowing up on me. Well, I managed to beat Honky Will Donkey score, but I can't defeat Monarch Chen. 
I, I, wait, weird. I didn't know China had monarchs. Uh, maybe they did, actually. Now I think about it. I don't really know Chinese history. Uh, but hey, uh, was the volume good? Was the was the writing okay? Let me know. If you guys see the adjustments, I will do them now. Look at how much... They just wanted to destroy my corpse. Robots do to have coding to tell when the human they're trying to kill is dead, apparently. Two hundred five and two sixty six. I didn't do very well, but that's okay. Oh hi. All right, I'm kind of get. I'm getting. I'm getting the vibes. Oh look, the environment's all foggy and wintry now. That's interesting. Okay, th you know what? This you know, even if performance is a little rough on this one, I kind of like how this game looks. This is using the Unreal Engine pretty effectively. Never stands. To oh god. I think I'm worried at this point. Don't even worry about the melee enemies. They're not a big deal. They literally have to stand there and hit me. So if I keep moving. Could you get out of the water, please, so I can actually hit you? As long as I keep moving, the melee enemies probably will never do anything to me. Whoa! Yeah, honestly, I, I'm going to use a strategy. Don't attack the melee enemies. Leave them alive. If anything, they'll block the... Uh, exp oh, what's this? Oh, oh. Nope. I have a shotgun that's way too big. I think they have no problems just killing their friends, too. You know, maybe shotgun plus enemy that wants to charge into me with a butt saw is not a good combination, but... Still gonna do it. <laughs> yes, there is uh, there is an upgrade system. I don't know how to access it yet. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like the explosive robots are actually more just helpful than anything else. There we go. <laughs> shotgun, it's one of those shotguns where if you're at all far away from the opponent, it doesn't it basically does nothing. <laughs> Which is fair enough, I guess. So with proper aim, it does seem pretty good. You have to do kind of a dance to pick up the money before it disappears. Ow. <laughs> the walkers seem very slow and- oh, hello, what did I get this time? Oh, that's a big one. It's a fucking AT. ATAT -AT or ATST? I can't remember. All right. Oh god. All right. The dash is very important. Oh god. Things are flying. Don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah. With a proper shot, looks like I take. Oh, that's a lot of bullets. That's a lot of bullets. Keep going. Dodge a weave. Dodge a weave. That's not health. I thought it was. Okay. Okay, giant laser key. Oh, God. I think your dodge has iframes, which is thank God for that. Whoa. <laughs> well, I may have gotten into a buzzsaw that time. Ooh, I got better though. Look at that. Look at my position go way up there. At last time it was like 2 206, this time 111. Uh, I'm not as good as Scorpionic. Scorpionic. Scorpion. Scorpionic. But I am better than Shiza. Yeah, that's that's quite a large weapon, isn't it? The shotgun seems solid if used correctly. Alright, let's, let's go back to the main menu. Because I guess I have to do that to look at upgrades. Let's see. One ability and one perk. Okay. 
Uh, so I don't actually have any abilities. What, what can we get? Circular wave energy should damage anything in your surroundings. Recharge 40. Oh, is that just something that recharges and I can use any time? That's pretty good. I can also slow down time. What do you guys think? Slow down time or wave of energy? Shockwave around me that does some damage or slow down time? I could see this being useful, either of these being useful. What would you guys pick? While you guys think about that, I'm going to look up the perks. It resists the melee, it resists the explosions, increased damage of your of the brute machine gun, increased damage of the shot. Well, I do like the shotgun. Let's do that. Let's incre I'm going to increase the damage of the shotgun. But I guess I'll, I'll get one of the per I'll, but that's the second thing. I'll get an ability first. Shockwave is nice. If it, I, I think that would be pretty useful. If I dash like into an enemy group, Shockwave, and then dashed out, that could be useful. Well, how long do I get it? For a few seconds. The slow motion for a few seconds. That would let me line up a shotgun shot without much danger to myself. But I think the shockwave might be more useful. We'll go ahead and do that one. All right, let's fight. I mean, I can I can buy the other one too. So yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of fond of this. Uh, how this how this looks. How this plays so far. No, come back. And it looks like there's way more stuff we can unlock later, of course. <clears throat> Let's see how this work. Pretty good. Oh, wow, that's actually quite a shockwave. Wait, what's the range of that? Ah. Looks like it takes a while to recharge. Oh, yeah, it definitely takes a while to recharge. You see the bar in the you can see the icon in the lower right, a lower left, and how long it takes to recharge from there. I'm getting the impression that ammo drops and stuff just kinda happen. If I if I snooze I lose on them, so I should probably pick them up when I see them. Oh, there's actually a sound that lets me know when it's reactive. I think. Whoop. Right? Well, I would assume so, but... Wait, what button was it? X? Oh, that's the button. <laughs> that was Z for some reason. Oh, oh! Casually touching a boss, so even if it's not attacking you, is kind of painful. Also, my position seems to be permanently increasing. So I can't see what position 265 is, because it permanently saves. Alright. So, okay, that recharge rate is dismally slow. Wait, what? Hold on. I seem to not have my ability now. Just a moment. I'm gonna test something. Hello, Theo. Welcome. Oh, that's a little lame. You only keep it for one round, it looks like. You die, you lose everything. Well, that's lame. <clears throat> I would I would think this would be a much more interesting system if I could actually keep and... Uh, I mean, maybe that was a glitch. Let's keep playing. It could, it could be a glitch. Maybe it just didn't properly save it. Broken well, I'm gonna, I'll gonna i get the shotgun perk next time. And we'll see if that one keeps. Because, like, with the fact that there's, like, unlockable... I can unlock more and I can lock up to four perk slots. Like, can you imagine trying to gather enough money to buy four different perks at once? Like, that would be a bit of a, a, bit of a bankroll. Buying them over time and keeping them would make sense, but... Like, yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll see.
not precisely what I meant to do there. So I, I don't know how items appear, but it seems like they just kind of do over time. Oh, those- the walker guys give you me weapons. The walk- whenever the walkers show up, that's how I get new weapons. Got it. You know when I take hits is usually when I try to pick up money, because I try to double back on myself. One good shotgun shot can take out those flying guys, which is very helpful because they're one of the more relentless enemies for me. Wait, hold on. Now if not that, then two. Okay. I assume I get the oh oh my god okay I, I frame dodge an explosion don't mind me there's a laser enemy too high in me but I don't care god they hurt What was that vibrating sound? Part of me is just like, what if I survive long enough to get health back? Oh, here we go. Oh god. <laughs> There are too many buzz saws. Actually, there's too much of anything. Everything. Oh god, there's a guy in the water. I didn't even see that. Okay, laser beams are very scary, but very dodgeable. <laughs> However, if they impact the ground, I'm a little screwed. Oh god. <laughs> Honestly, I'm more self-preservation right now. About. Yeah! Don't be near those guys. They'll shoot straight at the ground and then explosion your ground. What's that? Whoa! Uh, alright. I was wondering why there was a red circle in the middle of the arena. Well, I live long enough to see what that does. Maybe. Okay, um... Well, there's some interesting stuff going on here. Oh, there, 85. Not as good as Lapidos, but better than Sombero. Because he doesn't know how to spell Sombrero. That's why he sucks, and I'm better. <laughs> so it looks like you keep your credits, but you don't keep your perks. Or, well, that's at least the impression I was getting. So I guess the idea is to just grind credits for a while. Like, I have my- like, I don't lose credits between rounds. Like, you can look on the top right for that. So I guess- I feel like the idea is- hello, Vapor Ampaz. I'm beginning to wonder if the best weapon's actually the pistol. And I say that for its accuracy. I mean, I can attack from a distance without having to get into a weird position. Of course, the problem with it is the damage output is kinda low. Though, is it really? I don't know. Maybe it's actually better than it looks. <laughs> I was like, I can joust him. I can joust that guy. I can kill him before he runs into me. <laughs> I love a good joust.
I love the explosion robots. They're very help ha They're actually very helpful. Helpful. Okay, I thought so. I don't actually have to aim down to kill those guys in one shot. I was wondering about that. One problem I see is when I stand on the ammo or health platforms, I actually can trip on it a little bit. Wait, oh, 30 Oh, there's a, there's a timer on the side of it. Letting me know when the next respawn is. Okay, yeah, then I should just grab stuff when I see it. So there's actually a respawn timer on the goodies. All right. That I can see. And aiming down sights doesn't increase accuracy. It simply makes it easier to see where I'm aiming. Interesting. Okay, that definitely seems the best way to take those guys down. And I would like to pick up their bolts, but if they die in the water, I think I'll just write that off as a loss. I don't know if I can go in the water. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, she, machine gun wins. It's my favorite weapon now. It's more accurate than I thought it was. <laughs> Yeah, that I'm just getting better at- uh oh! Oh god, that went poorly. Well... Yeah, the explosion robots are useful unless you dash right into them. And get stuck on them. However, I'm getting better now. For the love of fuck, my family takes way too long to make decisions for dinner. What do you mean? I'm drinking soda. <laughs> Everything does a lot of damage. Even these basic mooks do 20 damage a hit. So it looks like it's a linear weapon progression where I get the items and I get the weapons in the same order each time. Oh, fuck. I was wondering where that guy was. More or less ignoring the melee enemies and just staying out of their way is a good idea. <clears throat> Spray and pray tactics are not what I usually do in video games, by the way. <coughs> Typically, I like how long? How long is the respawn of the health? Okay, one minute. I get health every minute. Is that same with the ammo? Ammo looks like I get it every forty seconds or so. But I, yeah, I get health every minute. Saving the dash. When there's explosion guy exploding guys around, I should just save the dash until I hear their ba -da 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 -da, which lets me know they're about to explode. Meaning that I need to dodge. Also, the bus enemies are deceptively difficult because it's easy to miss them. They're unlike most of the robots, they don't really glow that much. So it's easy enough to kind of just miss where they are. And since they charge you really fast, that's kind of bad. You. Spray and Prey is actually a viable tactic, yes. In this game. Because it feels like the accuracy is actually pretty decent. Sometimes I just want to go past... Maybe I should just go past explosion enemies to blow them up so they don't catch me at a bad time. Might be a strategy. Feels like this round's playing out differently. Hello. Sometimes, a, you, sometimes the game does that visual effect that some first-person shooters do, where if a bullet nearly hits you, you hear like a whiz-by effect, and you kind of hear a clack. 
You, you know that? You know how, how some games do that, where like if a bullet almost hits you, it makes a different sound. Those when that when that happens, I actually think I'm being hit. Oh, <laughs> I just noticed that robot there. I'm shooting at right now. Friendly fire is apparently a thing. That's interesting. See, see, there's explosions. I gotta be careful. Where those rail guns land. Ow. At least it means less threats. Fucking stop. Oh god! Too many explosion robots! <laughs> Oh, I died and dashed. Whoa. Okay, let's try this again. Let's try... Oh, excuse me for a second. <laughs> let's try this again. Uh, maybe it was a fluke that I lost it up. Maybe you don't keep abilities. Maybe you can only keep perks. I don't know. Oh, I can buy slots. I just spent a ton of money for a slot. I'm not even sure how much. Okay, so these slots can be purchased for a fuck ton of credits. Got it. Well, since I did that, now I can't buy anything, so that's fine. That's how you lock those. 50,000 and 100,000 credits to unlock the other slots, but I think I'll just worry about getting a couple perks. And seeing if they keep between rounds. I do have to admit, this would be, I, I would personally find this more fun if you kept your upgrades you purchased. Like, even if the price was higher on them, if they want to make the upgrades more expensive in turn, that would be fine. I don't mind. I just like the idea of permanently unlocking something. I think my Kayin strategy is pretty logical, at least. By the way, it's all time-based. It's not like I kill a certain number of enemies and new enemies show up. It's, it's all time-based. Though it does seem kind of random what spawns. I think I have seen different setups from different rounds. <laughs> the mechanized- listen to that noise they make. The mechanized army, it, it comes. Ow. Alright. The bus enemies are better at winging me than I would think they would be. I don't know, they just track. Excuse me. I don't need to deal with the melee guys, though, because exploding boys, boys do that for me. <laughs> Aiming down does not increase accuracy, but it makes it easier to get that shot just right. I'm taking out those guys. 13 seconds. Oh. I'll get that later. Why did that suddenly turn so durable? Oh no, 69 health! Shit! Let's fix that. Okay, I wonder how much the health actually heals. It healed at least 40. So yeah, ammo regenerates much faster than health does, which means... It means I can I can definitely pay and spray. Or spray and pay and or whatever the term is. Holy fuck. Uh okay, mental uh, did you guys hear that? So it turns out it's thunderstorming. In in real life, I mean. Holy fuck. That one shook the house. I was like, shit, the robots are attacking here now. I was like, shit! <laughs> They're here as well! The apocalypse is now. Oh god, that didn't kill it. Those guys are fairly durable. Cool. Yeah, did you guys hear that? So, a disclaimer. If random thunderstorm out of nowhere drops my internet, I'm sorry. Holy crap.
Okay, there's beam enemies literally surrounding the entire arena right now. Problematic. Okay, I'm so dead. Holy crap! They're just capping the water! Alright, let's see. Yeah, there was actually a bad storm the other day. I thought we were done with this. Ah. Okay, these guys need to go. Too bad they're super duper durable. They, uh. Okay, I cannot leave those laser guys. I actually thought they weren't that big a deal. But if you leave them alive, they really start to stack up. Okay, those guys need to go first. Like, the guys shooting random machine gun bullets at me endlessly, they can be quite obnoxious, but they're easy enough to kite. But those laser guys just hanging out in the water, oh boy. That was a problem. But yeah, hopefully I don't lose internet, but uh, since the weather has decided... It was actually, actually, it was stormy this morning, too. I just remembered, like, this morning. You ever, you ever have the weather turn so stormy that the sky turns a weird kind of green color? You guys know, you know, you know, you know that kind of weather, that kind of weather color? When the clouds are just a weird kind of green? Yeah, that was this morning. It was storming a little bit last night. Oh, for fuck's sake, these buzzsaw enemies. Wish I had that thunderstorm main thing, but without... Uh, well, that's... Uh, listen, you don't want that, though, because yesterday was also humid, and the thunderstorm stuff wasn't helping with that. We're having thunderstorms and weather that's hot. It's not one or the other, sometimes. You know, I think I'll just... There we go. Okay, so I've learned my lesson. When the big guys show up, I need to take them out first. <coughs> Fair enough. They are, however, a very easy target, at least. Here, but here, the guy coming. I find these uh, aerial enemies very obnoxious, but I guess they're not actually that dangerous. Best strategy is to do exactly what they're doing: machine gun them back. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Yeah, I cannot let these guys stack up. They're more dangerous. Oh my god, there's one in the water. There's an uh, there's an aquatic version. Shit. No, they all cover the water. But seriously, that one was completely underwater, so I didn't see the beam coming until it hit me. Yeah, there's one just down here somewhere. Where is he? Oh my god, you motherfucker. Do you see that guy? Okay, if I stay away from that side, he'll be forced to come up and I can actually hit him. Hopefully. Oh god. There he is. Not great. Okay, it's 50 health. 50 health. That's how much it heals. I need some damage at least. At least they kind of give themselves away after a while. No! Alright, we're gonna reverse. Oh, oh, okay, we're. Oh. You know, at the very least, I think that kills some of the enemies. Whatever that is. Wait, where's the other laser guy? Wasn't there another one? Okay, well. Oh god! 
Oh my god! Oh, that's what that does. Okay, uh... Whoop! Oh, okay. It creates a fucking, uh, parkour event. <laughs> hey, I got slightly better that time. Lapatos, I got him. I got over him. Not over 16,239 void. Okay, so that creates spinning laser beams, if you didn't see. Because that's what I need right now. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna assume these will not stay, but I'm gonna see if they do. Maybe they do. Um, increase the damage of... Yeah. Defeat the first boss to unlock. Defeat the second boss to unlock. Defeat the third boss to unlock. Bosses? I'm gonna try to get to a boss then. Is that the... Wait, actually, maybe the laser machine is a boss. <laughs> May actually probably would be. Consider that. Wait, does that mean I need to shoot that damn thing? There's too many enemies. <laughs> I just figured that was some sort of thing I had to let happen. It looked like more like a construction than a thing I should shoot, but... Who knows, man? Who knows? What's the story of this game? I gotta admit, though. Guy knew how to design some pretty interesting robots. I may not be huge on arena shooters, but these are some pretty interesting enemies. I have not- I've, I've actually played a reissue for Halo for an hour before, though. Occasionally, you know. Occasionally I'm in the mood. This one seems pretty good, I just wish the perks stayed. I guess we'll see if these perks stay, they probably won't, but... I guess that's what the diff that's why it's a roguelite-like and not a roguelite. If it let me buy the perks and keep them, it would be a roguelite. But as it stands, it's a roguelike. You know, I think that boom sound happens whenever there's health. Whenever a health drop drops, uh, that boom. That's letting me know. Might be worse, might have weak points. It might. I'll try shooting the cylinder next time. I was just kind of focusing on the enemies. I'm way too methodical for a game like this. A game like this demands murder as fast as possible. But my strategy typically is like take my time in video games. There's what I want. Increased damage of machine gun. Oh yeah, that definitely helps. That was definitely better. See, the thing is, though, I tend to find when I rush, I, that's when I take more damage. <laughs> that's the tricky part for me. Oh, that was supposed to... There. be that guy dead, but I missed him a little bit. Holy shit, those razor blades. Speaking of which, or buzz, they're not really razor blades, they're buzz saws, but whatever. Oh god. Okay, things are rising from very bad points. Beep, 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 beep. beep. Reload. All right.
Hey, at least I got everything on one side now. For the most part. That's better. Okay. Oh god. Fucking razor blades. Slash buzz saws. Is this a boss? Okay, is this a boss or a survival? I really can't tell. Oh, oh, okay, great. That's nice. Oh god. Okay, hold on. Wait, what? Shooting missiles at me? Oh. Damn it! They would the lasers turned around! I lasted longer though. B shot. I I beat him, but I beat Lord Martin Lore now. Do all my perks go away? Yep, they're all gone. You can see. So yeah, you only get them for one round. I don't like the one round thing disappoints me. Because of the way I operate. <laughs> my attitude on temporary power-ups is I don't want to bother them if they're temporary. <laughs> they are useful, but eh. I'm always I am always a stickler with saying that I only have temporarily. I prefer just to learn how to fight about it. I think I'm dashing at the wrong time, but it's possible I might have to jump the laser. <coughs> Maybe. Oh, that's fine. I didn't need to pick it up. Oh, for fuck's sake. There. Actually, that, that does make me realize, does it matter if I pick up all the goodies if I don't care about using them? <laughs> Not really. I'm starting to b debate if the shotgun's any good. It kind of feels like it is, but I'm not really sure. Good work. Good miss. I missed the fucking cargo bot. Good work, me. <laughs> this is pretty good, though, for what it is. That one's literally in the tree cover, how rude. Whoa! Fucking buzzsaw. See what I mean? They kind of just show up at the worst times. Fuck you. Just <laughs> one in the water again. There, fuck. I knew it was close to death. Oh. The extra damage definitely helps on these guys, though, because they're just so beefy. I'm about to die. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't know. 
I might just uh, I might just go 74. It's not a terrible position to be in. I'm actually gonna try something stupid. Hold on. I wanna see something. So I can't so the enemies when they're in the water, I can't pursue them. There's actually an invisible wall. I'm I'm right now I'm rubbing against the invisible wall of the arena, seeing where it is. It's kind of weirdly shaped, but you can see that Here's the problem. Actually, I realize now why I was getting stuck sometimes. The invisible wall is not straight. It's entirely possible, if you're watching, it's entirely possible to get stuck on the edge of it here and there. Like, there's- it's- it's- it's some sort of wibbly-wobbly shape where I can run into walls while I hug it. It would be a lot better if it was straight, or like a round cylinder or something. Or just a lot more smooth, so I couldn't get stuck on it, but I totally get stuck on it here and there. Which is actually really bad if you're trying to run around the edge. Yeah, look at- look at- there's like all these points where I can get stuck. That's not great design. Beat one boss at least. I mean, I would. Actually, I have a stupid idea. Let's see how long I last not killing anything. Whoa, that guy came out of nowhere. I'm just letting the walker robots have a peaceful existence now. <laughs> they're just they're able to walk around. The strategy seems pretty logical. Man, and you know this arena would be better if there were some places with cover. It would be both a hundreds and a help. Because enemies could like swing around the wall and like catch you off guard. But at the same time it also protects from some bullets. Yeah, different arenas. That would make this interesting. Maybe if they maybe there was multiple arenas and it got randomized each time you played, that would be kinda neat. Working better than I thought it would. <laughs> I've got timing like my dashes to the laser sounds. That seems safer. Oh god, there's so many of them. How did I get away with six health loss there? Alright, well we got to the machine in pacifist mode. Fairly impressive. I, I wish the lasers had friendly fire. That'd be pretty swell. Okay. Yep, there it is. That survival was surprisingly impressive, though. I'm gonna. I wanna know what this machine does after I die. So it shoots lasers one way, it shoots lasers the other way. I 
Okay, is that all it does? That I just have to attack it, maybe? <laughs> Hi there, Sam. It just seems to do, do that. Lasers one way, lasers the other way. Wait a minute, I am collecting credits. I just heard it. Whenever an exploding by bot comes by, hold on a second. Wait, I gotta see something. One thousand seventeen thousand five hundred thirty-five. I, I want to wait for the next explosion bot. I want to see something. I like how they're moving my camera around. I think you can dodge through the laser. I just. I tried to dodge through it, but it actually comes a little slower than I expect, so basically I dodge forward into it, and then I actually, like, just end my dodge in the laser. I need to dodge later. I think I can iframe it, pretty sure, because I'm pretty sure the laser iframes, or the dash iframes. So I think I was just dodging the laser wrong. Well, that thing is sticking around, all right. I'll give it one more go. We'll give it another shot. It's weird the pacifist mode felt easier in some ways. Maybe the str oh, you know what? I'm gonna combine strategies then. New strategy. Pacifist mode right around the edge worked pretty well. I will combine that with shooting whatever's in front of me while doing so. Like this. Basically, if something sets up an opportunity for me to attack it, I think the reason I die is because I get too focused on trying to kill something, and then I basically take a bad path, and then I die. Wait, I guess I could also do that a little bit, too, if I'm staying to that pattern of going around the edge. I just turn around. And then turn around again. The only danger is, of course, whatever I run into along the way. It helps when I'm not going for the goodies. Oh god. I'll do. My god, the dash recharge is pretty fast. Oof. I knew that was going to be a close miss if, if, it, if it didn't hit. <laughs> oh god. I do think it's a little cheap when the laser guys are in the water and they just blow me away without me noticing they're there. I feel like that could be done a little less cheaply, but... <laughs> Damn it, I really wanted him dead. Okay, well... Well... Ho oh ho! Well, I, that was unfortunate. I won that... Ha See, that's the moment I double back. I, I missed- I wanted the health. <laughs> My goodness. Alright, I'll do it one more round since that went kind of poorly. At least want to get back to the pillar guy. 
However, I do like the fireworks that that generated. <laughs> that was amusing. You know, I wonder something. One second. That changes nothing. I had a feeling because of the fog, but I wanted to see. Yeah, the hordes are relentless. I think that the main problem I have is that the enemies can just disappear into the water. Seems very problematic. There's me getting stuck on the terrain again. Yeah, this could still be improved, but it's not bad. I just ran out of ammo. That was a good time to get that. I guess I'm going this way now. Yeah, I have to get used to the idea of, well, I missed my chance, time to do the next pass, you know? <laughs> it's kind of important with this game. <laughs> Alright, this is actually pretty rough. You are correct. Seriously, when they hide the tree cover, that's also bullshit. Uh, smart of them, though. Can't argue with the intelligence of that move. I basically can't care about any of the melee enemies. I don't have time to care. And unfortunately, when they're, the laser guys are in the water, I really can't do much to them. Whoa! Good thing I did a sidestep there. Oh, I knew that was going to... Where's that guy? Oh, he's in the tree cover. I keep debating if I want to pick up the health, but I'm going to leave it. Not low enough yet. Somehow. Hey, I kind of need this guy dead before I do this round. Thank you. Okay. So which way does the laser go? I need to just turn around when the, uh, it's dangerous. Oh, that's what I shoot. Yes, it is dodgeable. Oh. Just barely. Okay, I destroyed, a I destroyed an eyeball. Oh, God. I heard it. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, so that eyeball was surprisingly easy to destroy, so I guess you just got dismantled by eyeball. However, I don't see myself doing that with how much there is going on. 
That is a complete fucking... I don't mind fighting bosses in these sort of... Uh, like, I feel like uh, bosses are more fun to fight when you can focus on them a bit, and they're actually, like... I, I, I would I would say it'd be better if when the boss dropped down, all the enemies just fucking exploded, and then the boss itself was the entire focus, and there was no enemies for a bit, and the boss what, did a whole bunch of shit that made it hard to fight him, but it, it was just a focus on the boss. I would prefer that, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nonetheless, interesting game. I do disagree. I, I I think I would enjoy it more if I could actually buy perks and keep them. But I mean, obviously, there's a progression system. Three different bosses, so there's a fair bit here. If you are good at these games, but only if you are good at these games. If you're not good at these games, you're not gonna get anywhere probably. And your enjoy your enjoyment factor completely depends depends on your skill level. I'd say with this one. So, if this looks like an interesting game to you, and you have the skills to deal with waves like this, which I do not, uh, check out Stahel, or ST Hell. Otherwise, maybe give it a pass. It's quite simple, and if you can't handle that formula, there's really not much else here to look at. Let's get the global... Well, actually, to end off, though. <laughs> Rank number one. 30 minutes, 44 seconds, 646 milliseconds. Bing search results. I guess they really do win over Google. <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> that was ST Hell.